Are you dreaming of a white Christmas? While most Americans don't get a white Christmas year after year, a lot of us have to live farther in the north or higher up in elevation to get a higher chance of that snowfall for Christmas Day. But some of us do have a chance, and we want to talk about those chances with these blue colors showing you the indications whether we're at least a 5% chance, 25% chance, 75% chance, or more. So let's take a tour across the United States. Most Americans get a green Christmas year after year, but a few of us have a little bit higher of a chance. Let's start in the Northeast. Usually you've got to live closer to the Great Lakes or higher up in the elevations to get a higher chance of snow. That darker color showing you the 75% chance or greater, especially for upstate New York, mainly from Syracuse northbound Watertown, Pulaski, and then headed north into Adirondacks. Also the Green Mountains and the White Mountains in the northeast in New England. We have a, a decent chance of having white stuff on Christmas Day, whether it's at, at least an inch left over from a previous snowstorm or fresh snowfall. Farther towards the south, once you get closer to the Atlantic Ocean, which is still kind of warm this year after coming in from a warm fall, it's going to be a lower chance as you get closer to the coast. But the farther north you live and also in the higher terrain, you can see some of the terrain there on the map higher chance of snowfall you get. A lot lower in New York City compared to Albany or north towards Burlington. Let's head towards the southeast. Our chances are slim to none. You really have to head north maybe into the southern portions of the Appalachians, uh, north of Georgia, really into northern Carolina, and that's only about a 5 to 25 percent chance. So the chance is super low. You extend back towards the west, towards the south central plains. Most of us in Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, the, the chances are slim to none. You see that light blue color starting to creep into the Boston Mountains. These are in the southern Ozarks. We've got about a 7, 8 percent chance in northwest Arkansas, but you head south of the mountains and into some of the warmer terrain of, of southern Arkansas. Arkansas and southern Oklahoma, the chances are basically slim to none. Let's head northbound. Let's actually look more at the Great Lakes specifically. The Great Lakes, of course, produce that lake effect snow machine that constantly runs throughout the winter. Lake waters are still warm in December. Uh, they're still a lot cooler, but they're still not frozen yet. So the lakes are still open in order to get that lake effect snow. And so you see here on the eastern sides of the lakes and even kind of the southeastern side, we've got a higher chance of snowfall. Notice how here in the lower peninsula of Michigan, the farther west you live closer to Lake Michigan, you have a higher chance compared to Detroit, which it's harder to get that lake effect snow in Detroit unless you've got a due north wind coming off Lake Huron. But higher chances exist off towards the north. Basically, if you live north of I-80, you've got a basically about a 50 to 75 percent shot uh, south closer to about I-70 from Indianapolis to Columbus, just about a 25 to 50 percent chance. It's at be best, it's probably a 50-50 shot. Farther towards the north, though, no lake effects, no. It's just cold enough across the northern plains from northern Minnesota into North Dakota, over a 75 percent chance of having Christmas Day being white in North Dakota and towards the north of Minnesota, uh, Minneapolis northbound to Duluth. We've got a pretty high chance, and then those chances uh, decrease as you head south into some warmer air in the Corn Belt. The Pacific Northwest is interesting because it really all depends on your placement in terms of how high you are above the ground. The dark blue color showing you some of the highest terrain that we have in the Rocky Mountains and the Cascades. Notice for Seattle, we really don't get a chance for snow. You have to have go up higher in the terrain levels, even throughout the whole winter, not even just Christmas Day. You've really got to go up high in elevation to get that higher chances of snow. A couple of high peaks just west of Seattle, getting close to the ocean, we have some too. Now, farther towards the coast, you know, your influence is by the Pacific Ocean, so we get these big systems rolling through. Our chance for snow is really, really low right along the shore. You probably are still kind of warmed up from the Pacific Ocean. You have to head farther inland and then farther up in order to get some of that best snow. But best snow is really over uh, from Great Falls into Missoula and then into Idaho, we've got some of those higher chances for a white Christmas. And then extending towards the south, as long as you live higher up, you've got a chance. A lot of us in uh, the front range of Colorado and San Juan Mountains, we've got a good chance of a white Christmas. Some of those mountains extend into Utah, central Utah, southeast of Lake, uh, Salt Lake City. We've got a good chance of some snow for Christmas Day. And then also for California, if you want snow in California, you got to go up. You got to go in the Sierra Nevada, uh, east of Sacramento. Once you get close to Carson City, Reno, Nevada, towards Lake Tahoe, you finally got a chance. So most of us, it's probably going to be a green Christmas. We're still over two weeks away from Christmas Day, and then we can take a closer look at what sort of systems are coming in for Christmas 2021. But on average, of course, you've got to live farther towards the north to get a better chance of having the white stuff on Christmas Day.